Now let us start with the numericals. First numerical, a box has a length of 10 cm, breadth of 6 cm and height of 4 cm. Length is 10 cm, breadth is 6 cm and height is 4 cm. Find the volume of the box. You have to find the volume. So first formula will be used, which I told you, L into B multiply H. 10 cm multiply 6 cm into 4 cm. 10 into 6 into 4, we get answer 240. And centimeter into centimeter into centimeter. There are 3 centimeters, so formula uh, unit become comes out to be centimeter cube. See the next. A thick cardboard is cut into a square shape of side 10 cm. One cardboard is there. You have cut it into a square shape whose side is 10 cm. You are, everybody knows that the square has all the four sides equal. Means all the four sides are of 10 cm. If the thickness of the cardboard is 2 cm, find the volume. Here thickness word is used here. One formula. Second formula we have studied. That is volume is equals to area into thickness. Thickness we have 2 cm but we need to find the area. Since it is a square, so we have to find the area of a square. Because we cut the cardboard in the shape of a square. Now what is the area of the square? It is side square or side multiplies side. Side square means side was given to you as 10 cm so it means 10 square. 10 square means 10 into 10. 10 multiplied by 10 that is 100. And it is area so it will be centimeter square. Now you will multiply area with thickness and you will get the answer. Two centimeters are here, one centimeter is here, total it is centimeter cube. Next is your twelfth. Assess the area of an irregular object which is drawn on a graph paper having big squares of area one centimeter square. In this question, firstly we will try to see the given figure covers how many complete squares. Complete squares and also the those squares which are covered more than half. I am repeating, we will check the, this figure given to you covers how many complete squares and how many squares which are covered more than half. And if you will see it, observe it properly, those are 5 squares. How many squares are there? 5 squares are there. And it is also given to you that area 1 square is 1 centimeter square. Since area 1 square is 1 centimeter square, so 5 squares means 5 into 1 centimeter square, that is 5 centimeter square. Next 13, volume of a rectangular box is 300 cm cube. So here volume is already given to you. Height is given to you 1 cm and breadth is given to you 15 cm. You have to find the length of this box. Volume is given to you. Height is given to you. Breadth is given to you. We have to find the length. We knew the formula of volume. First formula L into B into H. Since we have to find L. We know B and H are multiplied with L. So when they will go to this side, that is your left hand side, it will get divided. So B into H was multiplied here, but this side, when it goes to the left hand side, it gets divided. That is V divided by B multiplied by H. Substitute the value of V, substitute the value of B, then H and solve it and you will get the answer of length. Next is your density and will uh, Okay, let us do this also in this uh, video only. Density of the liquid is given to you 2 gram per centimeter cube. Volume is given to you 100 centimeter cube. You have to find the value of mass. Density is given to you. Volume is given to you. And you have to find the value of mass. Now we know that density is equals to mass divided by volume. If I have to find mass, volume is divided here. So it will get multiplied here. See, mass is equals to density multiplied by volume. Substitute the value of density, substitute the value of volume, 2 into 100, you will get 200 gram is your answer.